Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. R.S. Sharma, who is chairman of the uh, Telecommunication Regulatory Authority of India. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now we're here at GSR 2018, the Global Symposium for Regulators. I wanted to ask you, why is this global forum important and what outcomes would you like to see emerge from this symposium? See, what is happening is that now we are living in a connected world. And that connected world, there are technologies and there are new developments taking place almost every day. Uh, you hear of new terminologies, new you know, regulatory mechanisms. So therefore, it is very important to remain updated, to remain in sync with what others are doing. And the GSR provides an extremely effective platform for all of us to assemble together. And you know, over the years, it has really grown in dimension and grown in um, scope also. Today, you don't not only have regulators, you also have industry people participating in this platform. And that makes it a very interesting place to learn, to connect with people. We also have uh, uh, you know, bilateral MOUs with various uh, regulators around the world. And I think this provides us an opportunity to uh, kind of re-energize those relationships and also build new relationships. So I think from, a, uh, from the perspective of our organization, it's very important that such events, and, and especially the GSR is the most significant event of the telecom world in some sense. Such events do, you know, we, we leverage these e events to, to create much better understanding of technologies, people, processes going around the world. Now you were leading a session today. What were some of the key takeaways from that session? Well, I was leading the uh, digital identity uh, session and uh, now the world seems to have realized that the identity is at the base of almost everything. In a connected world where you can create multiple identities, you can really spoof identities, you can steal identities and stuff like that. It is important from a security perspective also to have a very robust digital identity infrastructure which can participate and you can participate in digital transactions. So therefore, I think a uh, number of countries assembled together and my panel also, we had people from Ghana, from Oman, uh, a lot of people from the private sector, uh, which essentially underlined the need for having a robust digital identity infrastructure. Of course, the panelists also underlined the need to have securities, legal frameworks, uh, you know, threats which are there, which have to be privacy prevention, privacy protection, data protection, data ownership, and, and privacy by design. So multiple, you know, concepts and best practices which are essential to ensure that we have a robust, secure, reliable digital identity infrastructure which protects privacy of individual is absolute must. Now the global digital landscape is changing rapidly. I mean, we, we've heard very much uh, the discussions here about AI, about the Internet of Things. I just wanted to find out from you how are regulators like yourself coping with this dynamic situation? Now, one of the things is uh, we must realize that the laws which were made, the regulatory systems which were made, but essentially for a world of yesterday, which was actually connected, and of course connectivity was there, but this was not so virtual as it has turned out now. And many of those concepts and principles, if you apply in the virtual world also, they really do not, you know, they are either becoming like hammers, you know, in a way they, they don't really capture the true spirit of the, uh, this virtual world. So therefore, we have to have a paradigm shift of, of new regulations, new laws. But then let us also understand that the regulators should not be in a hurry to kind of you know bring laws uh, and regulations in place without uh, letting the, the the whole thing have a, a fair play because because you know regulators can never anticipate stuff and can never regulate things which have not yet happened so let it happen for a little while let's try to understand how to grapple with these challenges and situations and then i think we should we should have the regulations and the regulation's objective should also be very clear. It should not be regulation for the sake of regulation. It should be regulation to pro prevent harm to the people. It should be regulation for a smooth facilitation of the progress uh, which will take place. So I think the regulatory exercises in this space will have to be facilitating 
rather than you know really a very high handed kind of regulation uh, somebody used the term regulatory humility which is which is uh, very very important uh, term one should one should realize uh, when should one regulate what one should regulate and why one should regulate and what about 5g how is this going to affect things well 5g as you know is a is a technology which offers huge amount of possibilities uh, you know ict was limited as a vertical uh, you know information communication till now we were talking to each other we were exchanging data with each other uh, or or accessing data from the internet 5g is going to transform that completely in the sense that 5g is going to become a platform for almost every domain of life so whether it is health or agriculture or irrigation everywhere or transportation smart cities 5g is going to become all pervasive now of course the beauty of 5g is it has low latency it has high throughput and most importantly there is a huge machine to machine communication at a massive scale now that actually opens up a number of applications for 5g so therefore it's a very exciting technology we at the trai are hugely excited about it our department of telecom have actually created a task force for roll out of 5g uh, we have uh, created some centers of excellence of for 5g and therefore the the country as as a policy level is also uh, wanting and yearning to uh, kind of leverage this technology for the benefit of of our people coming back to policy and uh, regulation do you require a lot more input from technologists and futurists etc to uh, be able to make the right decisions certainly because in this world one cannot assume that one knows everything that especially in a world which is so dynamic and so technology in, in, in intensive one cannot uh, you know work without uh, the the cross sectoral people from all sectors and therefore we believe in actually interchange of ideas from various disciplines and what to say of technology even the domain experts like health agriculture everybody you know all of us will have to come together so this is going to be a truly interdisciplinary world uh, if you may say that dr sharma thank you very much indeed welcome and do tune in for more fascinating insights to the itu youtube channel and the itu soundcloud channel too on the new regulatory frontiers and more thank you